Hi, this is Katie from Memories to Keepsakes, and I have a couple of um, swaps to share with you um, on scrappyhappiness.ning.com. Um, I joined a couple swaps kind of late. Um, I picked up just some spots that people had dropped out of, so I've been pretty busy all week trying to get these done and get them out on time. Um, I am doing the wish list swap, which I've talked about before. It's where you grant somebody's wishes and send them some products that they have been wanting. Um, so I just made a quick card. I'm not going to share you everything that I put in the package because it's supposed to be a surprise. Um, but I will show the card that I made real quick. It's super simple and it plays off of um, the products and the things that I have done for the other two projects. So it was just kind of a added bonus that I had time to do it. Um, I did a dangle charm swap. And the theme was anything that makes you happy. And then I did a dress form swap. Um, and the dress form swap didn't have a theme either. So um, because I had to do these all pretty quickly, I did choose the Steampunk Debutante. I'm very comfortable with that um, paper collection. And I feel that I make some pretty neat things with it. So, um, And that's really, I had a lot of that on hand. And I, had, and I had all the supplies I needed to make them. So... That's what I went with. So with that being said, I'm going to show you the card I made. Um, this is the card that I made for my partner. Um, I just cut out a, a tag using the Tim Holtz uh, tag and book plates die. And then I cut out the mini gears um, using the mini gear set die by Tim Holtz. Um, I put some of the steampunk paper on the gear before I cut it out. It's on a, a light chipboard. Um, for the tag, I did do quite a bit of distressing on it. Um, I used peeled paint, distress ink, and I used faded jeans, um, the spiced marmalade, and tumbled glass. And I went in, and, and you can see where I put the, the different green, the, the peeled paint green and some of the faded uh, jeans. I went in with the tumbled glass to kind of give it that teal look that um, goes along with the colors on the gears. I then, if the camera's picking it up, which I believe it is, I ran it through um, the cuddle bug embossing folder. And I believe this one is called Clockwork. Um, it just has the gears and such on it. So I really like the way that turned out, and then I just put a little message inside the card for um, my wish list uh, partner. Uh, and then on this gear right here, I just used a black chipboard, and then I rubbed some um, antique gold rub and buff, which I don't, I don't think the camera's picking it up. But I like how that turned out. Just real simple, something to add into her package. Um, going along with that, that was actually... Um, where I got my idea for my dangle charm swap and for the tag that I made for that. So they're going to look very familiar um, or in, in very similar, I mean. And I didn't I didn't tell you what I did for this, actually. Um, for the stamped image, it is the Hero Arts um, stamp set that goes along with the Graphic 45 paper, the cling stamp set. Um, I just stamped it on here with some embossing ink. And then I put clear embossing powder over it. And so because I hadn't done anything to the tag just yet, it's just white underneath there. And then I went ahead and I distressed around, you know, over it. And since it was already embossed, it didn't pick up any of the ink. So I really like the way that turned out. That was the first time I tried that resist um, embossing, embossing style. And then, again, same thing for the tag. Um, and you can see the embossing on there. And then for my charm... Um, I did stick with the more metal-y, um, dark colored items for my charm. I made a little gear at the bottom, and that was from the Tim Holtz, uh, gear thing as well, and, and I put some rub and buff, and then just some different beads in this little, um, metal wire bead. Just some different little fun things, and I took, you know, a Tim Holtz gear from the gear and sprocket set, and... Um, a washer that I distressed with alcohol ink and um, some buttons and some, some different beads that I put together. Just something pretty similar and or pretty simple and 
that went well with this tag, I thought. Um, and then I just put my information on the back for that. And then my last thing is um, the dress form tag. And this is what I had come up with. Um, I've made a, I made a dress form very similar to this for a picture frame that I showed just a couple weeks ago. But I'll walk through what I did. Um, let me zoom out a little bit. Oh, wrong way. Okay, so for the tag itself, I did cut it from the Tim Holtz book plate um, die, which looks like that. I covered it with some of the paper from the Steampunk Debutante um, Graphic 45 paper collection, and I used um, Victorian Transformers. It's the one with the um, bodices on the background. Um, I just really liked it. I, I had enough of it to make sure I could do all the tags that I needed to do. Um, I then cut the dress form using the Tim Holtz sewing room die. Um, where I did place sticky back canvas on there before I cut it out and um, after it was done I inked it with uh, vintage photo and walnut stain distress ink. Um, for the wings I cut those out using the heart wings die from Tim Holtz as well. Um, I used a wide variety of Tim Holtz products for this but um, cut the wings out and again I ran them through the embossing folder and put the it put some just gears on there and then I um, use the gold rub and buff over it. So I, I cut it out with like black lightweight chipboard and then I uh, put the gold rub and buff. And then I um, also used, which I don't have in front of me, the Tim Holtz caged bird die for the skirt. Um, I talked about this in a different video but I what I did is a technique where you put the distress embossing powder and then you put um, vintage photo distress embossing powder I'm sorry um, embossing ink and then embossing powder and then you wait for it to cool and you rub off some of it because the distress embossing powder rubs off slightly um, and then I went ahead and went over some of the spots with uh, gold rub and buff after I had put vintage photo on it so that is what I did for that I did put some pearl trim at the bottom um, and then I tied tool around her waist and then just some little like that elastic ribbon I used to close my boxes and then on the back I put my inf the information from the swap and then I did an embossed image from the stamp set that goes along with it so that is my tag and um, my charm with the tag and my card that all have a very this very same theme um, but thank you for watching my video and I hope to hear from you in your comments and I hope you enjoy watching and seeing the things that I make. Thank you. Bye.